it's Betsy. Just touching base with you about our flight tomorrow. I believe we'll get there before 4.30. So that gives us an hour before the flight. Okay? Bye-bye. We're flying to Iowa to participate in the Trumpeter Swan Restoration Program, and this year we're really excited to have three signets that we will be releasing at Lake Icaria in Iowa. To me, this product's really important because as a child growing up, I heard about the passenger pigeon going extinct, the Carolina parakeet going extinct, all these animals, and uh, nothing was done about it. So this to me is a way of protecting a species so it doesn't go extinct for other people, especially the future generations. Personally, I'm really excited. This is a really unique experience uh, for us to actually see some tangible results from one of our conservation projects that we do through Earth Limited and Southwick Zoo. The native populations of trumpeter swans were decimated in Iowa and the Midwest a really long time ago, so we're trying to increase their native populations and by contributing some of our own swans, we can do that. I keep the records here at Southwick Zoo, which means I keep track of all of the animals that we have on site, where they're coming from, where they're going and I also get contacted regularly by stud book keepers or species survival plan coordinators for some of our animals to see if we want to include them in the stud book. So as far as the trumpeter swans go, Tiffany Mayo contacted me in about 2016 to include our trumpeter swan pair that we have here at Southwick Zoo. In 2018, Tiffany checked in to see if we had any signets for that season, and we had three that hatched in 2018. We figured out what we needed to do in order to send our swans to Iowa. So a lot of that involved getting the appropriate permits. Um, we needed to do some testing on our swans to make sure that they were healthy and fit to go into the wild. Southwix was very excited to participate in this conservation project. Luckily, this is the, the first year um, they've been able to participate with three signets being released into Iowa, and hopefully it's the first year of many. I was thrilled to be a part of a program that is initiating a swan release back out into the wild in Iowa. So this program was really thrilling for us. It's called the restoration program, and the repatriation part of it is that these swans are being reintroduced back into their original land of origin. Since we've started doing this program, we've definitely seen an increase in the swan sightings and, yeah. and the swan activity around, and everybody at the park loves to see them. I just have to think that they're they're holding more of the wild swans here because we we see bigger groups, you know. Yeah. We see them up to a dozen at a time sometimes now. Uh, hanging That's awesome. out in the area. That's so cool. Welcome to Southwest Iowa and welcome to our park. One of the reasons that we're doing the swan release up here is we've got some wetlands here behind us. Uh, as we go up the lake about another roughly quarter of a mile, we've got another dam up there and there's about a 60 acre wetland complex up there that is phenomenal waterfowl habitat. So the swans that we've released in the past, that is where we see them a lot of the time. We're seeing a lot more swans in this area than we definitely did just a few years ago. And it's neat to see that this program is, is moving in the right direction to, to where we want to see it go. So our three swans will be released at Lake Acaria in Iowa, but we'll also be joining the release of other swans from other participating zoos at multiple lake sites. One of the really cool things of this project is that the local community gets involved and is really excited for the project to take place as well. They come and join us at the release sites, including local school children. And this year, we're gonna get the chance to visit one of the local schools and provide some really fun educational activities and talk to them about why we're doing this project and why it's so important for swans in general, but also their local community.
We're here at the Corning Elementary School in Corning, Iowa, and we're really excited because these students behind me are doing all sorts of activities that were brought here by the Kansas City Zoo to get them involved and engaged. Projects like this are so important because as human beings, we need to learn how to live harmoniously with nature. We need to be held accountable for the massive changes that are happening on our planet. Thank you to our Earth members. Your money supports all of our conservation initiatives. The Trumpeter Swan Project, Project Rhino, the Bay Islands Conservation Association, as well as the Nyasa Lion Project, and many, many more. We'd like to thank all of our Southwick Zoo visitors and supporters, especially our Earth Limited members. Without you, we wouldn't be able to participate in conservation projects just like this one.